Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to another week. It is Tuesday today um, and this is actually my first full week back in the studio after our break. So I am still trying to get back into a routine again of getting up early and as you can probably tell, I need some coffee. So obviously yesterday I was giving the place um, a really good tidy up basically and reorganizing all of my storage um, and supplies and everything like that which you will have seen in the end of last week's vlog if you've not seen that already then please go back and get caught up <laughs> featuring our new branded boxes which we are absolutely loving Oh, my camera died. We're off to a great start. Yeah, so basically on the agenda this week, we are just going to try and get the place stocked up as much as possible. Um, really, that's going to be the goal for the next few weeks um, because we actually have our first trade show of the year coming up just at the very start of February, which will be the Spring Fair in Birmingham. So obviously we went to the Autumn Fair there back in September. Um, this one is meant to be kind of a lot bigger than that one and a lot of kind of buyers will only go to the spring one I believe so hopefully even with kind of the uncertainty um with uh the old Rona right now hopefully it will still be good fingers crossed um so obviously you guys know probably by now that like every time we go to a trade show the thing that just gets absolutely obliterated is usually wax melts and as you can see, <laughs> it's not looking too good yet. So um, I am going to really try my hardest to get um, all that stocked up as much as I can. Um, so that's gonna be my job for today. Also probably going to be making some diffusers because we have a couple of wholesale orders, um, like that one there, that we have started boxing up, but we do still need some like diffusers and refills as well. But I'm absolutely loving how tidy and organize the places like it is just I'm not gonna let it get as bad as it was before Christmas um or I might when we get busy again but I think if I just kind of try and tidy as I go it won't be as bad Good morning guys, it is Friday, which means I've made it to the end of my first week back and I'm not feeling too bad about it either, so <laughs> still here. Gordon and I actually both came in yesterday. We normally take Thursdays off, but because obviously we've just been off for weeks and we had like four wholesale orders to get out the door, we just thought we'll come in and just kind of get them all out the door so we got them picked up um yesterday as well so that was good and then we just kind of went home early at like one and just took the dogs for a big walk um and then went to my mother-in-law's for dinner which was really nice it's her birthday on saturday so happy birthday senga in advance so yeah as i kind of planned this week i have been making lots of wax melts so I've made Fireside, Lemon Verbena and Lavender Spa and then I've also got da -da -da, Tuscan Herbs here and all in here as well. So obviously these all still need to be unmolded um, and then I have set up this little station here for myself this morning so I've got the office on, um, US obviously 
need I say it. Um, and I've got my labels and my boxes here for the wax melts as well. And do the same for all the other fragrances. That's Fireside, I believe, yeah. And then get these all finished and away on my shelving. Um, which is still, to be honest, not looking nearly as good as I wanted it to by Friday. But um, obviously Gordon has <laughs> taken a lot of these and shipped them out to our stockists. <sighs> so <laughs> they're looking very much depleted, but it's fine. I'm going to get cracking and get them way up to full levels. So I'll probably take probably an hour, an hour and a half to box all of these up. And then um, I'm going to get started on the next few fragrances. And hopefully by the end of the day, this will be looking a lot better. how are you doing it's monday it is absolutely freezing Ooh. um i did not vlog yesterday i know i normally do vlog our sundays but to be honest yesterday was pretty boring for us we literally went for a dog walk and stopped off at the brewery for one pint um which we drank outside <laughs> um which was good but like apart from that we literally gave the garage a good clear out and just, yeah, just really did not get up to much apart from that. Um, so I thought I would vlog today anyway to make up for it. I know it's not the same type of content, but anyway. <laughs> first things first, I'm the realist. Second thing second, I still have some wax melts left to box up, which I made kind of later on on Friday. So I'm going to get all of those boxed up first of all. And to be honest, I probably have another couple of fragrances left to do in terms of wax melts um, to get back up to where I would like to be. So I'm probably gonna do that as well. And then I will give you an update on how the wax melts are looking. And then I actually have something else to not really announce, but to fill you in on um, of something quite exciting that we've been kind of thinking about doing for quite some time now and have been working on for the past week or so, um, both Gordon and myself. I will fill you in on that later, so stay tuned. <laughs> I almost forgot, this is not the announcement, um, BT dubs, but I actually almost forgot to tell you that following on from the 5k a day thing that I'm doing for Strathcairn Hospice that I spoke about in last week's vlog, it kind of inspired us to do something as a business as well to kind of utilize our reach that we have now and to just kind of tie them both together we would really like to do more going forward um as we grow obviously um for charity so we kind of felt like inspired to um do something and as i told you guys um in last week's vlog as well with us trying to like run down the remaining winter collection stock um we had the idea to do something with that so um what we're doing is we are offering our customers a 10 percent discount on um all of that remaining stock and then we are going to donate 100 percent of the profits to strathcairn hospice am i getting emotional <sighs> okay no we're not gonna start off our monday like that but yeah i feel really good about it and um 
we had quite a few orders over the weekend actually. So yeah, we're running that until the end of January. So I will give you a little update at the end of the month um, as far as how much we're able to donate. <laughs> a few hours later now. I have just finished making another batch of wax melts there and I thought I would just show you um, how the wax melts are looking now that I have got a few more of them boxed up. Ta-da! That is all of the fragrances pretty much here socked up which to be fair are like our best sellers. Um, so we've got rhubarb, fireside, sandara, and then lemon is pretty good as well. So they're all looking nice and full. Um, lavender spa is looking pretty good as well. Um, and then the only ones that I really want to still get a few more made up of are cashmere and damson. Um, and I will definitely need to make mango and lime as well because we've only got a few left of that. But it is not really much of a seller at this time of year especially. So yeah, that's how it's looking. I mean, it, as I said, it's still not 100% there, but I think if I can put in a little before clip, I will put that in here because I think it is looking so much better. Um, even rhubarb at the top, I actually ran out of space, so I had to start stacking it, which we don't really like doing because there is a possibility of them kind of falling. The other thing that I was going to talk to you guys about is um, a new wholesale website, which pepper, but yeah, we have set up a new wholesale website. Um, so just for our stockists to um, place their orders through. So at the moment they can just set up an account on our normal website, um, which has worked fine to be fair, but it's not really a hundred percent ideal because obviously most well, I don't know if it is obvious, but most kind of businesses um, will work on everything expat, whereas on the website, because it's more geared towards retail, it will include the VAT and it doesn't like break it down for people. Um, so it can cause confusion sometimes if we tell people the price expat and then they go into order and it's including the VAT and they think that, you know, there's a discrepancy. We just thought it would be a better idea to have a retail website and a wholesale website which are both giving people the best kind of experience. So yeah I've just been tinkering on it just now just kind of like making the homepage look all nice and everything like that. Gordon I think still needs to do something with Zero, I think it is. Basically our invoicing system is going to do something with that like plug in or something I don't know. Um, but yeah, I will show you what it's looking like just now. Okay, so this is the homepage here. So it just says Ivy and Twine Trade. Um, I've got this little cute banner here. Now we've got a little contact form and a little link to our retail website as well in case anybody does just want to have a look. Our minimum and carriage paid order is £200 plus VAT. So I've popped that up there as well just to make people aware. And then an About Us section. I think this is just what is available on... Um, our website just now but I've kind of made it look kind of pretty. Um, there's us. <laughs> Here's some links to kind of our best selling products. A few testimonials again this is just taken from what was already on our website but still I think it's just quite kind of good to have feedback from our customers. Um, this is how I actually started making candles was in my granny's jam pot on our stove in the kitchen. As you can see, I was making like, what, six or eight candles at a time, <laughs> which seems like so funny now looking back. A link to our YouTube channel, of course. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So yeah, 
pretty happy with how it's looking though and hopefully it does kind of make things easier for our stockists as well. So I am going to leave it there for this week's vlog. I hope that you have enjoyed it as always. She's really getting impatient right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and take her out, I think. It's okay, I'll be there in a sec. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do be sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below on your thoughts. If you are a customer, then is there anything that you would like to see? Because we are currently looking at doing some new limited edition fragrances. And although we do have a few ideas, it's always good to get um, your guys' opinions as well. So please do be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much as always for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh! <laughs>